This is so far out of my comfort zone, it's unbelievable. But uh, I am willing to be spray tanned and decorated and sequined because that's what Strictly is about. You know, you've got to go for it. So I'm ready. I think what makes Strictly really special is you know, on a Saturday night, a complete cross-section of the population sits down and watches the same programme. And I think um, in what can be quite a difficult world just now, I think it, it just cheers you up. Um, and I love watching, I love the costumes, I love the dancers, I love the music. And it just is, it's a really bright spot, I think, in an otherwise dreary week. I think what I'd like to get out of Strictly is, well, I'd like to be able to dance. Um, I think uh, meeting some people who I would never meet otherwise, uh, the other contestants on the show, I, I would never hang out with someone who was in the Saturdays. It's not something that's going to happen. My current level of dancing, I don't think there is a level to describe my level of dancing. Enthusiastic. The one song that's guaranteed to get me up dancing, uh, anything by Little Mix, shout out to my ex, uh, will have me singing and dancing quite vigorously. But anything by Little Mix, I'll have me up on the dance floor. Because why not? I'm a 42 year old woman, why wouldn't I love Little Mix? Um, I've watched Strictly for a long time and of course, uh, the balls, uh, Jeremy. I love Tamika as well. I thought she was absolutely extraordinary. Uh, but to be honest, I've loved every series and uh, it's just such a joy to watch. I think I'll enjoy ballroom most of all because I think it's closer to my vague comfort zone. Latin is horrific. It involves sexy legs. I do not have sexy legs. My legs are as far from sexy as you can possibly imagine. I have concrete hips and no rhythm. Latin will be horrible. 